way to find your compass directions is with a stick in the ground. You have to have a sunny day, and it works better around noon. But right now, it's uh, 2.20 in the afternoon. We'll see how it works. Just take a stick and put it in the ground and then find the tip of the shadow. So I want to be sure that I don't lose the rock or confuse it with another one because I'm going to mark the tip with a stone right there. As the sun moves across the sky, it's going to cast a shadow that's going to drift this way. We'll come back in a little while and mark it again, and I'll show you how to figure approximately what your compass directions are. It's been about 40 minutes. Now, when I put the stone, the tip of the shadow was right here. And now, the tip of the shadow is right here where this stone is, so I'm gonna mark it with another stone. All right, so let me make a nice, smooth piece of ground. And find the shadow and put the stone right there. Now here's what I do. I draw a line between the two. And the idea is that this line indicates approximately east and west. So let's test that and see how accurate it is. All right. What I have here is a compass because a compass is a way better way to find north and south. The red arrow points north. All right, so if I put the dial on the red arrow, now I have north. Okay, and then this line, can you see this? I have to keep it flat. All right, so what you're looking at here is there's north. Here's the line that points east and west. So that's actually this way. And this way. This line indicates true magnetic east and west. And this line indicates east and west as I determined it using the stick shadow method. So we're looking at a difference of um, 20 degrees. It's not entirely accurate, but it will tell me this. It'll tell me that about that way is north, roughly that way is south, and so at least I won't be completely turned around. This can be useful in a situation where you are injured and wake up uh, from a crash or an illness, a fever, and uh, you need to know, you need to orient yourself. You don't know where you are or which way you're turned about, or you've been traveling uh, through the clouds and you have your first sunny day. So this method is pretty, uh, you know, pretty useful. It's not entirely accurate, but it's accurate enough to get you to go travel, you know, generally east or generally south. So learn that method. <laughs>